Hi guys, welcome to our lecture on uh, the moment generating function of a binomial distribution. And here we are going to discuss about the origin. And after finding the moment generating function, we are going to find the mean and the variance of the binomial distribution from uh, the moment generating function what we found. Okay. So let us go for uh, the rule of uh, the moment generating function mx of t is equal uh, e of the expectation of uh, e power t x where this x is a, a random variable. And uh, what is the rule for the expectation in uh, probability? e of x is equal summation xi into pi over uh, this i. Hence, I use the same rule for uh, e power t x over here. So this is a, a summation, summation, in place of this uh, x i, this is e power t x. So this is e power t small x because it is a random variable, and the random variable capital X takes the values of uh, small x uh, into p i. That is uh, the probability function of uh, the binomial distribution and here the x varies and the x varies from 0 to n okay now what is the rule for the binomial distribution so you please remember the rule for the uh, binomial distribution is uh, m c x p power x q power n minus x where this x varies from 0, 1, 2, etc. till uh, the number of uh, trials. Let us substitute the value of uh, p of x is equal to x in the, the summation, uh, which is equal summation x is equal 0 to n e power tx into in place of this p of x, this is n c x p power x q power n minus x. Now, just rearrange uh, the terms. What you have, this is summation x is equal 0 to n, uh, n c x. Take this inside here, this is e power t x, this is p power x, this is q power n minus x. So, as the next, what we have to do, uh, let's group the like powers by using the uh, laws of uh, exponents this is a summation uh, x equal 0 to n <clears throat> n c x group the power this is uh, p e power t whole power x and we left you with uh, q power n minus x now expand this by using uh, uh, the by by using <clears throat> now expand this uh, by varying x from zero to n. Uh, this is n c zero. This is uh, p e power t whole power zero, and this is uh, q power n plus n c one. P e power t whole power 1 and q power n minus 1 plus uh, etc. So what may be the final term? n c n p e power t whole power n q power n minus n. And this is obvious that uh, this is the expansion of uh, uh, the binomial with the uh, the first term is q and the uh, second term is uh, uh, p e power t. So, uh, this expansion can be written as uh, q plus uh, p e power t whole power n. This is the expansion of uh, uh, the binomial distribution what we got it. And this is called uh, uh, the moment generating function mx of t, mx of t.
for a binomial distribution. Now we have to find the mean and variance. The mean of the binomial distribution, uh, the general rule is E of x. Uh, the mean that is given by the derivative of our moment generating function at the point t equal 0. At the point t equal 0. Uh, find the derivative of this one, the mx of uh, t. Hence, uh, this is a very simple differentiation you have uh, n into q plus p e power t whole power n minus 1 into you have to differentiate the guy here uh, q is a constant it's a probability of a here also so uh, this q becomes 0 and p is a constant the probability of success uh, e power t the derivative becomes the same at uh, the point t equal 0 which is equal here it is n uh, this term is 0 so this is a p into e power t with the, this term uh, q plus p e power t uh, whole power n minus 1 with uh, uh, t equal 0 now let us substitute uh, t equal 0 uh, wherever you have uh, uh, the value t this is uh, n this is a p e power 0 this become 1 so no need to write and this term this is a q plus p e power t e power 0 e power 0 is 1 uh, whole power n minus 1 and in the binomial distribution uh, we know that uh, the probability of success plus probability of failure uh, is equal to 1 that is p plus q is equal 1 and uh, this q plus p is equal 1 and hence we left you with uh, np as the value of uh, mean of uh, the binomial distribution okay the next is to find the variance uh, for variance the rule of the variance uh, is e of x power 2 minus e of x the whole power 2 which is equal uh, this e of x we found already this one np so this is np whole power 2 if we find this e of x power 2 we finished so let us go for e of x power 2 now so this is uh, e of x power 2 is equal uh, this one right uh, let, let, let me write a little below uh, a of x power 2 is equal uh, let's go for the same one say if it is e of x the first derivative of uh, uh, g of at t equals 0 so if it is e of x power 2 uh, what may be that do you have any idea ah great good very good, super. This is uh, uh, the second derivative of our moment generating function at uh, uh, the point uh, t equal 0. Let's differentiate this again. Um, this is the term before substituting, uh, so, sorry, uh, this is the term uh, before substituting t equal 0, right? So differentiate this term again, um, which is equal to uh, differentiate this again np is a constant keep the as it is so this is a np into uh, e power t and this term also consisting of t so it should be by the product rule of uh, uh, differentiation and we can call it as a uv rule I use the rule uh, keep this e power t as it is differentiate this and it dif uh, keep this term as it is uh, keep e power t as it is okay and the way you saw This np is a constant, just to keep it as it is. Uh, here we have e power t and uh, this term also consisting of uh, e power t. Um, so we have to do this by the product rule of uh, differentiation and we can call it as a uh, uh, uv rule also. So keep this e power t as it is, differentiate the next term 
प्लस कीप दिस कैपेसिटीज एंड डिफरेंशियली पोटी व्हिच इज द सेम एज इपोटी राइट सो कीप दिस इपोटी एज इट इज इपोटी डिफरेंशिएट दिस टर्म सो ब्रिंग दिस टर्म बिफोर इट इज n minus 1 into uh, q plus p e power t whole power n minus 2 into again you have to differentiate uh, the inner function uh, q is uh, 0 that's a constant plus a p uh, e power t the differentiation become e power t so the first task we got over plus uh, keep this term as it is uh, q plus p e power t whole power n minus 1 this term as it is and differentiate this e power t become a uh, e power t and uh, everything at uh, t equal 0 we have to put t equal 0 uh, well, no matter we are not going to find any e of x power 3 or something else so uh, uh, just to substitute t equal to 0 here itself uh, so that uh, our work can be reduced so this is uh, n into p into uh, this is e power t, t at the t equal 0 so whenever you have e power t uh, that uh, value become 1 so e power t become 1 uh, here it is uh, n minus 1 q plus p e power t e power t is 1 it is uh, q plus p where well, only we know p plus q is equal to 1 so this term become 1 and here it is p this e power t become 1 plus e power t become 1 q plus p e power t e power t is 1 q plus p q plus p is 1 let the power n minus 1 just leave it as it is and so this term become a 1 <coughs> which is equal this is np and to multiply this inside this is a np a minus p plus 1 which is equal this is np into uh, this is np this is uh, 1 minus p right 1 minus p so if p plus q is equal 1 and hence uh, q is equal 1 minus p so in place of this uh, 1 minus p uh, we can write uh, q right we can write it as q Multiply this inside. After multiplying, you will be getting uh, n power 2, p power 2, uh, plus multiply it over here, uh, n p q. Substitute the value of uh, e of x power 2, what we gain uh, right now uh, in our uh, variance rule. In place of this e of x power 2, it is now uh, uh, n power 2, p power 2, plus n p q, right? Okay, uh, this is uh, n power 2, p power 2 plus n p q. Uh, make the square by using your uh, law of exponents and radicals, which is equal. Uh, this uh, plus n power 2 and the minus this one getting cancelled. You left with uh, n p q as uh, the variance of uh, the binomial distribution we have. And if you want to find the standard deviation, it is quite simple. Uh, this is the square root of variance, which is equal to the square root of uh, n, p, and uh, q is uh, uh, the standard deviation. Okay. In this lecture, we have discussed uh, uh, what is the moment generating function of a binomial distribution about the origin uh, by using the rule mx of t is equal to e of e power t x. And uh, thereafter, we find uh, the mean and uh, variance of uh, the binomial distribution. Hope you will be enjoying this lecture. We will be meeting soon in another lecture. Till that, see you and bye-bye.